get some help! this way. We must find the hole and seal it up for good. Uh, meanwhile, you children should get safely home. Uh, okay. Hmm, if it weren't for you, we might not have known about that opening. Thank you. Sarah, big hero! Huh? Oh, me tell everybody Sarah, big hero! No, wait! Oh, well, whatever. Everybody! Sarah Hero! Sarah, save us from belly draggers! Amazing Sarah, scare belly draggers away! Sarah, big hero! <gasps> there she is. The hero girl. <gasps> what was that? Tree stars? But... Why are they falling? Hail the amazing three-horned girl She drove the sharp teeth all away Her mighty courage saved the day She is our hero now Who would have 
thought a task so big could be done by one so small. But now we know she's strong and brave. She really has it all. So hail the amazing three-horn girl. Amazing three-horn girl. We'll tell her story near and far. Because of how impressed we are, she is our shining star. The amazing three-horn girl. knew you were amazing. Hey, Longneck, you hear what my daughter did? Yes, I was with her this morning. She single-handedly fought off the belly draggers. Yes, <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. We blocked off the opening in the Great Wall, and there was no trace of the belly draggers. Of course not. When a three-horn chases somebody, you can bet they stay gone. Uh, right, Sarah? I hope so. I really didn't do anything special. Nonsense. You're a hero. You stood your ground while your friends just ran away. <laughs> Good thing she takes after her father, uh, Long Neck. <sighs> Who came to hear about the amazing three-horn girl? I would love to hear it. I did. I sure would. Tell us your story. Tell us your story. Come on, Sarah. We were just exploring out by the Great Wall. From the Speaking Rock, Sarah. And speak up, dear. Me and Littlefoot and Chomp... <laughs> Get to your part. Sorry, Dad. Okay, so, there I was, just me and the belly draggers, and... She was cornered, mind you. Right. I was cornered by the belly draggers. I, I bumped into the rock. No, no. She's just being modest. But we want to hear the real story, don't we? Yeah! 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 Sarah? Ooh! Me want to. It's very good story. Tell us how brave you were, Sarah. And how you drove those smelly belly draggers back into the mysterious beyond. <laughs> you heard them, Sarah. They want to hear your story. <sighs> okay. So, I was surrounded by the meanest belly draggers I ever saw. <gasps> And they were snapping at me with their big, ugly teeth. They wanted to hurt my friends. <gasps> Scary! <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. But I couldn't let that happen. So I, um... So I led them into a canyon. where I hatched my plan. If it is okay with you, Spike, today I would like to ride on the amazing three-horn girl. Hmm. And if it is okay with you, Sarah. Fine. <laughs> <gasps> Good idea. You'll be safe if anything bad happened during game. Uh, what would happen during the game? <sighs> Nothing's going to happen during the game. Except for my team winning! You may have been the hero yesterday, Sarah, but today you're just a regular three-horn girl. So you better be ready to play. What? We just wanted to see the amazing three-horn girl. 
You've seen her. Tell them the story of how you drived it away the belly draggers. Oh, yes. Tell us. Please. I just told that story yesterday. Oh, but I didn't hear it. Me neither. I want to hear it too. It good story, and Sarah's so brave. Well, I guess I was brave. And you saved the whole Great Valley from the belly draggers. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? <sighs> Everyone knows belly draggers are scary. But I've always known how to handle them. So when they were chasing my friends, I knew I had to stop them. I guess everywhere she goes, everyone wants to hear her story. I don't think she minds. Talking about Sarah is one of Sarah's favorite things to talk about. Well, I guess it's okay. She did do a good thing. And that's when I sprung my trap. I shoved the big rocks at the belly draggers and scared them all off! Belly draggers on this side, belly draggers on that side. Oh! Hello, little foot. Ruby, you must be here to listen to Sarah's story. We've already heard it. Unlike my friends, I stayed calm. <gasps> I knew I but had we to didn't stop hear him. that part. Then Shh. I headbutted spotted belly dragger all the way down the path. But his two friends, three of them? There were only two belly draggers. Well, maybe you didn't see them because you were running away. Oh, oh man. Oh. <sighs> was I? Oh, yes. Belly Dragger's friends showed up, and they were big, big as two tree-sweet trees. I've never heard of a Belly Dragger that big. Shh! But they could tell they weren't chasing me out of my valley, so they stomped their giant feet. Then I leapt right at them and told them, you! Get out of my valley! What? And they ran back to the mysterious beyond, never to return. Yay! Anyone who wants to hear the amazing Three Horn Girl story again can come back just before the bright circle leaves the sky. Story, I learn new things about what happened. That's because every time she tells her story, she tells a new story. Oh, me no no belly dragger grow so big. Say, maybe that's why I can still smell belly draggers. They're so big. Huh? You can still smell them? Sure, ever since the day they chased us. No matter how big they were, you shouldn't smell them all the way from the mysterious beyond. Unless they never went back. No. Sarah chased Billy Draggers back to mysterious beyond. With all her stomping. If she really did do all that stomping, maybe she left footprints. We should go to the Circle of Rocks and see. Then we'll know what parts of Sarah's story are really real and what parts really aren't really real. There's the circle of rocks. This must be place where Sarah scare off Belly Dragger. <laughs> she didn't scare their smell away. So, that no mean Belly Dragger here. <laughs> oh, that mean Belly Dragger here. Over there! Oh, that explains why I can still smell them. <gasps> Uh-oh. But she scared them away. Did you see where they're going? Yes, and that path leads home. We have to warn everybody, fast! So, Sarah not hero?
wouldn't be surprised if they've already heard about me in the mysterious beyond. Maybe they are telling the same story about the amazing three-horned girl right now. But to them, it's a scary story. <laughs> Nobody messes with the amazing three-horn girl. Hmm, maybe I'll take care of Red Claw next. Belly draggers! They're back! <gasps> they they're back! Here? Hmm? Impossible! Didn't you hear the story? Yes, but we saw the real story with my own eyes. And Petrie's and Littlefoot's and Chompers. And we smelled it with my nose. Why can't you kids just accept that Sarah's better than you? She scared them off for good, and that's that. <laughs> the belly draggers are too afraid of Sarah to come back. Right, Sarah? Sarah? Uh, are you sure they were belly draggers? Maybe you made a mistake. You said you scared off giant belly draggers. Well, maybe they weren't giant. But you scared them away, right? Well, they did run away, but I didn't see where they went. In fact, I didn't do anything amazing. I knocked down some rocks by accident, and they ran off. Oh, oh, no. oh. I didn't even chase them. That means the belly draggers are still in the Great Valley. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Is it true she lied? She's not a hero. It's a shame. Think that we called her amazing when she's really nothing more than a fraud. She kept us fooled by telling her story. Never once told anyone it was made up until danger arrived once again. But what should we? Calm down. We should have known better than to leave the safety of the Great Valley to our children. That's our job. And now we should find those belly draggers and drive them out for good. <gasps> you should probably stay here. believe I believed it in the amazing three-horn girl. No, no, no. Why would you tell us a lie that is not true? Dad? I'm very disappointed in you. But, Dad... Not now, Sarah. I need to be alone. So stupid belly draggers' fault. If they hadn't come. Now everyone's gonna be mad at me forever. Even Dad. And if they hadn't run away, I would have scared them. With a big roar. Like this. <laughs> Great. 
scrapers. Stay away from my daughter. <gasps> I said, stay away. I told you that sounded like a three horn. Come on, everyone. Let's get rid of them for good. I'm sorry, Daddy. No, I'm sorry. I pushed you into making up that story. But I'm the one who lied. I know I shouldn't have. It just felt so good to be a hero. Oh, Sarah, you'll always be my amazing three-horned girl. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Besides, no one messes with a three-horn. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises are always surprises. Maybe Tria learned to fly. Oh. Well, that big surprise. Hello, kids. Nice Hello. to see you, Hello. Tria. So, what's the big surprise? Oh, Sarah, always to the point. Today, I'm taking you to my favorite place in all the Great Valley, my secret getaway. Oh, no. If it's secret, how we know about it? Because she's going to tell us. Right? Yes, yes please tell us. Yes. It's my secret... Mud pool. Huh? We're going to a mud hole? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. Before time. I think you kids are just going to love my secret mud pool. What's to love about mud? Oh, this mud is special. You'll understand when you sit in it. We're supposed to sit in the mud? Mm, and just let yourself go. Ah, oh, it might be nice to go and let myself go. Hmm. Oh, uh, me think, uh, uh... We were, uh, in the middle of the game Stop the Seed. And we did agree to finish it, right, Ducky? Uh, mud might be nice. Yup, yup, yup. But I know you cannot finish the game without me, so I will stay. <sighs> What's this? Hmm? I thought you'd be off having fun already. Dad, I don't want to go sit in some mud hole. Tria put a lot of thought into this little trip. If you don't go, I'll never hear the end of it. But, Dad... You're going. 
I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, the sooner we go, the sooner we'll be on our way. And the sooner we can have fun. <sighs> fun at a mud hole? Right. Here we are. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's just mud. <sighs> we glad we not at mud pool. Me no think mud good for wings. Now! Hey! Me got it, me got it! <laughs> It. Yeah, but I won't. Huh? Look like tooth. Like your tooth, Chomper. My tooth? On the ground? But my teeth are supposed to be in my mouth. Me agree, but that tooth definitely not in that mouth. My tooth! My tooth! My tooth! Does it hurt? No. You think it will? I am sure it will all be okay. Okay? Okay! What's next? An arm? A leg? My tail? Not my tail! What's happening to me? Me never hear of Tooth just falling out. Never? Never? Well, I have. Huh? And I wouldn't get too attached to that tail if I were you. Oh, I am certain Chomper is very attached to his tail. Yup, yup, yup. It's true. I am. It starts with a tooth, and before you know it, a fella's turning to bones and falling to pieces. I don't want to turn to bones. It isn't up to you. Mark my words, by nightfall, you'll be nothing but a pile of bones. Wait, how do I get my tooth back in my mouth? Mm. We could ask Mr. Thicknose. He's heard about all sorts of things. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You came to the right place, Chopper. I've heard of many ways to stick things together. No reason they wouldn't work on teeth. You think so? Certainly, my boy. Say I and open wide And I'll take a look inside With some sticky tree star juice That old tooth should not come loose I'll fix your tooth Flower dust might do the trick. Maybe mud that's nice and thick. You know what? I'm sorry, son. I can't fix this one. Can't fix my tooth? Cannot fix his tooth. Sorry, it's the truth. Too bad it's the truth. He cannot fix your tooth. Try to please can't fix your I am sorry none of my sticky solutions worked. Until today, I've always tried to avoid direct experience with sharp tooth teeth. If only sharp teeth lived here, so I could ask them about teeth. Huh? <gasps> what about Ruby? Ruby? She doesn't have any teeth! But she's lived in the mysterious beyond, where there are lots of sharp teeth. Maybe she has seen this before. You think so? Mm-hmm. 
Ruby knows many things. She does. She does. Maybe she fixed Tooth. But she's not here. And what if she's not back by nightfall? I could fall totally apart by then. Then we'll just have to go find her before that happens. <laughs> uh, not that it will happen. But we do not know where the mud pool is. Say, Chomper good smeller. Maybe he follow Ruby's smell. I'll sure try. What kind of a three-horn sits in mud? It's just as silly to sit there and watch, Sarah. Good point. I won't watch anymore. mud pool a while, but I do not know if we are getting there. Maybe that why Tria calls secret mud pool secret. We're okay, as long as Chompers got their scent. <laughs> huh? Sniffer says. Then we go in there too. This sure strange place for relaxing. I do not think I would be relaxed in here. No, no, no. It's not so bad. Ouch! Something bite, Petrie. Oh boy! A buzzing buzzer! <laughs> Me no think they taste good, Chopper. Yeah! Mmm, spicy. Well, at least you scared the stinging buzzer away. Oh no, here he comes again. <gasps> and he brought in all of his friends. Run! So boring. I could be with the others having fun. Stinging buzzers not follow us. Then we are safe. Fix it. Not if we can't find her. My sniffer led us into that cave. Oh no! Maybe my nose is going to fall off next. <gasps> hey, why didn't I think of it before? We can use the looking rock. Grandpa says you can see the whole Great Valley from the top. Chomper, thank you. No problem. Ah! 
want to fall. It would hurt very much. Me scare me. <laughs> Look, the mud pool just beyond the murky swamp. That easy to find. Are you finished relaxing yet? Come on, Sarah. Try dipping in one toe. <sighs> Fine. It's warm. Mmm, that's what makes it so nice. I didn't say it was nice. It's still dumb. Huh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to make me relax. <laughs> now that you're in, doesn't it feel good? Well, it's better than usual, Mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this place not smell so good. If you lived here, I am sure you would get used to it. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me not so sure. Right now, it wouldn't be so bad if I lost my nose. Hey! Oh, no! Sinking sand! <coughs> Chopper, get out of there or sinking sand will pull you in. I'm trying. <coughs> 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 to us if you have sharp teeth or no teeth. That's right. You'll always be our friend, Chomper, no matter what. But what if Mr. Threehorn's right and I turn to bones? The mud pool's just past those trees. Maybe Ruby knows something. But Chomper does not want to leave his tooth, even if it is in the sinking sand. Me stay with Chomper. You go. Find Ruby and others. Thanks, Petrie. We'll be right back with Ruby. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a fast runner with a spike tail and two three horns? Oh, hi, 
guys. What are you doing here? Sarah? It is you? Sarah, we have to find Ruby. It's important. Uh, follow me, please. Here we are. Ruby! We have been looking for you all day. Yup, yup, yup. Ah, uh, I'm right here. Of course, I'm always here, since here is wherever I am. Chomper needs your help! Huh? He's not far! Come on! Follow us! Follow us! You guys really need to relax. He's right here! Are you okay, Chomper? No. My tooth is gone. Forever! What? You interrupted our relaxing day for a tooth? A tooth? One day I try to relax. You guys come out here and spoil Now, now. I... We're just glad Chopper's not seriously hurt. Not hurt? I'm falling apart. Have you ever seen a sharp tooth with a missing tooth? Oh, yes. Huh? I've seen it more times than I care to see. <gasps> really? Why, sure, Chomper. You're going to lose all your teeth. All of them? <laughs> normal sharp teeth normally lose their teeth. So if you lost your tooth, you're a normal sharp tooth. I'm normal? Here, give me your claw. Feel that? That's your new tooth. New tooth? Yes, new tooth. And this new tooth will be new until you're old. Really? I feel so happy, I want everyone to see It's like the bright circle is shining inside of me I lost my <gasps> tooth some mud, and then a tooth, and now they're excited about the mud again. Hey! about. I do, I do. <sighs> Tree stars. But 
The Tree Star song has changed. There's something new. <laughs> well, the new song's not coming from these Tree Stars. Um. <sighs> Nothing like Tree Stars to start the day right. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow. About hard water sweets. <gasps> hard water sweets? Uh, what are those, Mr. Thicknose? Oh, hard water sweets are sweet bubbles covered by hard water. Oh my! That sounds like something I've never even heard of. I'm not surprised. Hard water sweets can only be found on the first day of the cold time. <gasps> That today. Say, maybe we can find them. Don't even bother. That hard water sweet stuff is a load of nonsense. Now, Mr. Threehorn, I assure you, it's not nonsense. Oh? Well, if they really exist, why haven't I ever found them? Perhaps because they're hard to find. <laughs> mm. It's not funny. Tree sweet. Mm -hmm. Water sweet. <laughs> Tree sweet. <laughs> Sometimes I think Mr. Threehorn just enjoys arguing. Sarah? <laughs> Little foot. <laughs> Those two, too. <sighs> Those guys. It's like they're all so busy talking, they can't hear the tree stars sing. Oh, there's that new green food song again. If hard water sweets are so hard to find, how can they be found? Well, you have to look on a certain mountain on the edge of the Great Valley. It's not an easy journey. That's never stopped us before. Now, to get there, you have to go to the tree with two trunks. Tree with two trunks. Make a left at the tree and head towards the mountain on the right until you reach the waterfall. <sighs> waterfall. Go behind the waterfall and around the big stone to the Gusty Canyon. Gutsy Canyon. And then they're supposed to be there at the top. See? Even he doesn't know exactly where to look. They do sound hard to find. True, but I hear it's the most wonderful tasting food you can find. At first, they're cold and crunchy, but when you bite down, they're juicy and sweet. Oh, they sound like the most delicious thing I've never tasted. If you like that sort of thing. Puh, I've never even seen that sort of thing. And you shouldn't be telling kids about things that don't exist. Well, you don't have to believe it if you don't want to. I believe you, Mr. Thicknose, and I want to try and find them. 
If you kids can bring me back a hard water suite, I'll give you my share of the tree suites. Huh? Well, if you bring me back a hard water suite, I'll give you all the tree suites in the Great Valley. All of them? Uh, well, um... All that I can find. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Now what's going on? Everybody ready? Yeah, let's go! Go? Go where? <laughs> I know what this means. They want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. They want to go adventuring, I'm really not sure why. Why can't they all just be like me and eat some tree stars from a tree? But they always want to be off on their way. Whatever they want us to do, we'll end up being dangerous too, I'm sure they know. But yet they'll go. And if they go adventuring, I know that there is just one thing that I am going to have to do. I'll have to go adventuring. Do. Ready to look for the hard water sweets. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> oh well, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> the new Tree Star song is getting louder. Tree with two trunks. <laughs> huh? That's not it. The new Tree Star song is coming from somewhere else. It's coming from up there. Uh, can't we go this way? <sighs> we are going this way. again. We are going this way, Spike. We are, we are. <sighs> Spike, shh. Sometimes even little grunt make hard water and ground sparkles give way the big landslide. said we need to go behind the waterfall. No! Oh! Oh! <sighs> Arguing again. 
All this mist, and the waterfall's so loud I can't make out anything. Tree Star Song. It must be this way. No, Petrie. Mr. Thicknose said. No. Petrie. <laughs> Look at Spike go. If he can do it, so can we. We can. We won't know unless we do. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. did say they're hard to find. Maybe we no look hard enough. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe my dad was right and they don't exist. <laughs> Where is it coming from? It's so loud. It's like I'm right on top of it. Mr. Thicknose wouldn't just make it up. They have to exist. Guys? No, they do not. They do too. Do not. Do too. Do no not. No talk too loud. Do, too. do not. They do too. It's coming from down here. The new song is from Sweet Bubbles Covered in Hard Water! Oh, the others have to see this! Guys, hard water crack! Do not! Do two! Do not! Do two! Listen! Be quiet! Uh oh. Every time we go adventuring. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Where are they? Spike, is that you? Hmm? Spike? Sweets on the way down, little foot. <laughs> Don't wander off, Spike. But if Spike hadn't wandered when he wandered, he would have been caught in the landslide, too. Then Spike could not have saved us. No, no, no. Yeah, well, too bad Spike couldn't save us from Littlefoot's idea to find hard water sweets. <laughs> But I know where they are! Do not! They do too! Another fight, the same old sight. But today, I know I'm right. There's something special in the air And I want us to go there Come on guys, follow me I know just what you want to see I think Spike said Please follow me <laughs> Come on, follow me. I do not know about you, but I am going to follow Spike. Whatever he thinks is worth seeing is probably worth a look. Yeah! Another landslide. Oh, wait for me. <laughs> Hardwater sweets. This is the way things should be. All of us happy and eating, not fighting and hungry. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm still impressed you kids found hard water sweets. We never would have found them if it were not for Spike. No, no, no. He sure yes, did. I oh, found them. Thanks, Spike. All right, here you go. All the tree sweets I could find. What about those? Petrie, even we couldn't get those down. Yeah? Well, watch this. Daddy. 
Why didn't you think of that? Me? Maybe they might argue less if they ate more. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish we could all be a little more like Spike. I do too, Ruby. I do, I do. 